Many will come and bless you. Many will come and support you. Many will come and help you. Many will come and understand you. If you are persecuted earlier, if you are so tired and exhausted, take the faith step. Pack your bags. Leave whatever you can leave. Praise the Lord, my beloved ones. Today, our beautiful, most amazing Lord God Jesus Christ has come to bless us with another beautiful prophetic word. And the Lord God says that you are moving to a new home. After persecution, the Lord God has asked you to move to another location. Because the word of God says that if you are persecuted in one place, then move to another place. Move to another dwelling place. That's how Jesus lived on earth. When he was persecuted in one place, he left that place and he was safe in other place for ministry. The Lord God shall give you rest in another location, in another place where you shall serve him better. You are looking for a better place to serve him. You are a servant of God. You have been serving the Lord. And now, my beloved ones, the Lord God says that he shall give you a new home, a new place where it shall be peaceful, better, not havoc like earlier, not persecution, no more of tension, no more of worries of the day-to-day -day life. But you will dwell in the new place according to the Lord's calling. The Lord has called you. There is calling given to you. And according to your calling, you shall receive new place. No matter whether it is the YouTube videos like I am doing, no matter whether you have to be an evangelist, a pastor to go and serve the Lord and form a new church, the Lord says you can have your new church in new city, another place. You can take your wife, your children, you can have a new location if you have been persecuted. The Lord God says, move on. If you have been persecuted, find a new home. If you have been persecuted, move to a new location. If you have been persecuted, get another job. If you have been persecuted, leave that place. If you are in persecution, under persecution, leave that place. Go to another country, go to another city, find another house, find another location, a place, new place where you can start once again. And before you go ahead, you must forgive those people, all of them. So that as the Lord God says, vengeance is mine, it shall be upon them, it shall be put upon them the shame that they try to give you. The shame that they try to put you in, they will receive the shame. But to you, you will see the manifestation of the Lord's glory. Many will come and bless you. Many will come and support you. Many will come and help you. Many will come and understand you. If you are persecuted earlier, if you are so tired and exhausted, take the faith step. Pack your bags. Leave whatever you can leave. Don't take all garbage with you. Only the needful things, only the precious things. Donate as much as you can. Don't keep any leftover. Clean the previous house. Clean the previous dwelling place. Move ahead to the new location with the best of the things, the best of the clothing, the best of the items and products that you have. If you have the best of the shampoo, you can take it ahead. If you have the best quality cosmetics, you can carry them with you. If you have the quality clothing, you can carry them forward. But if you have purchased or if you have received anything out of mediocrity, just leave it there, the Lord says. Donate it, give it to some poor and needy and move on. The Lord God wanted to separate you from the mediocrity level. The persecution happened because you were mixing the godly quality as well as the persecution. The persecution comes when you are in the low level. 
the persecution came when you were still dwelling in the lower levels, the unhygienic dwelling, the mediocrity levels. The persecution happened to you because you lack quality. And now when you find a new home after persecution, you know that you should not repeat what you had done earlier. My beloved ones, do the needful. Don't unnecessarily involve yourself in the havoc of the demons. You must be very careful when you are discerning and obeying the Lord God of Israel. My beloved ones, he is the disciplined God. The people may trouble you when it is allowed. The persecution happened because you were not aligned with the word of God. And now the Lord God has asked you to move on to find a new home. He will bless you with the new surroundings, new godly people, people to look after you, care for you. That is what is happening for me when I have moved to this new location. I was also persecuted in the villa when I started the live prayers. There was persecution happening. And at the same time, I was thanking the Lord and I was overwhelmed. So it was everything happening at the same time, persecution at the same time and the closeness with the Lord God at the same time. But as I am done with that, the Lord God has moved me, moved me safely to another dwelling place where I am fed well. I am looked after by good people and I sleep peacefully. I know the cottages where I am staying, even when I am paying $50 per day, I am looked after properly. I don't have to worry about what will happen tomorrow. My beloved ones, today I had plenty of food of my choice, of my taste, which I couldn't find since years. The type of bread that I wanted to eat, I couldn't find it anywhere else. But when I came here, the caretaker, in the cottages, he blessed me with the bread and it was of my choice, the freshly cooked bread. And it is all beautiful. The life that I am living now is amazing. I always praise the Lord wherever I am because in every place I find something new, something beautiful, some blessings of the living God. But this time, as I have received the prophetic word, I want to bless you with the same. If you are persecuted, find a new home. The Lord God is moving you. Leave that place and move ahead. Find a new home for yourself. If you want to set yourself free, if you need your faith step, sow the seed for the same and do subscribe to this channel, like, share and comment in the comment box below in faith that you are not bothered about the persecution because in faith and righteousness, you have received a new home. Hallelujah. Lord is my shepherd. I shall not be in want. We thank all those who are honoring the Lord with their wealth and for all the offerings. We bless you with a hundredfold of return. My beloved ones, if you have not yet received our Lord God Jesus Christ, if you have not yet received the Holy Spirit, we shall pray a small prayer because this repentance is at hand. Our Father in heaven, we come into your presence through our Lord Jesus Christ. And today we receive salvation. We receive Holy Spirit into our heart. O oh Lord, forgive us our sins and help us to be born again. We shall seek you, O oh Lord Jesus Christ, unto Zion. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. My beloved ones, with this small prayer of repentance, your sins are forgiven and you have received Holy Spirit within you. You shall walk the walk of righteousness.